the equity leadership program, uh, what we refer to as ELP, is a, a program equity group began back in 1998. What the program is really entailed on is that it breeds the next generation of leaders, not just leaders, but transformational leaders of their age uh, that, uh, that impact the communities of which uh, they belong. So it's been running for all the years. In fact, uh, majority of the graduates of the Equity Leadership Program have ended up becoming leaders in different areas, in public sector, in private sector. Um, and some have come back to work for the bank. Since the program's inauguration in Rwanda, Equity has been partnering with the government of Rwanda through the Ministry of Education and the National Examination and Schools Inspection Authority, NESA, to set the criteria that are best on to select students that take part in the Equity Leaders Program. The first criteria was to, to, to make sure that uh, we select the best student, those who performed uh, better compared to others, uh, but again make sure that we go across the country uh, and most importantly where equipped uh, uh, bank branches are and we made sure that we select both male and female students. Our contribution to society is to give those youthful leaders the skills required so that they can help uh, champion the cause of the bank which is to transform lives and livelihoods. So I think this, is, uh, this has been a, a very good partnership uh, between the Ministry of Education and its agencies uh, and uh, Equity Bank uh, because uh, what we want uh, is to uh, not only help our children uh, learn the sciences, the history, languages, and all the things that they learn in school, but you also want them to succeed in life. Uh, so, and when a program like this comes along, uh, it helps us uh, bridge that gap uh, from uh, school uh, to professional life. Uh, and we have been following what has happened with the first cohort, uh, and we have uh, uh, really been happy that uh, the students have been growing uh, both professionally and uh, personally uh, and uh, of course some of them are continuing with higher education but also keeping that connection with the bank and uh, other private sector partners here in Rwanda. So to me I think uh, this is a, a very good partnership because it mainly helps us uh, put what we teach uh, into practice. I didn't understand it very well. I thought it was a scam because uh, that program, I knew it in Kenya. I was told that by Kenyans. And then I say, how comes? Maybe it is a scam. It can't reach in Rwanda. Kumusi, my mama garako, na jizimu di program. Numba gari ibi nubi da shubaka. Bahavu gagako, bahafasha wanye shuri wa atinze. Ariko njye nabwo nabitekizaga ko bishobora kubaho byarantunguye ko kumva uhamagawe nabwo nabitekerezaga mbese mu maki narishimye cyane nevuze nti koko base hari ikintu nakoze kigiye kungira umumaro bambira ko muri kiti bampamagaye n'ubisa bibi mu byiza ndavuga ni ko bikose hari ikintu kiza bimutegurira Kanyangutubashimire <laughs> Atari bank gusa imwe tuza kubitsa aho amafaranga tukabikoza ahubwo equity ishora no kudufasha mu zindi program rero ndayishimiye cyane byimaze Cohort 2 is an amazing uh, group of very young people curious uh, ready to you know ask as much as they can they're very active in trying to engage in uh, the different 
topics that are being shared. So we see them as a very promising and interesting group of children. It has really been transformational. Currently, I see that the, the transformation in them, in the way they express themselves, in the way they ask questions to get to know things more about the bank even outside the world. And um, um, when they write about their experiences, you can see that it has actually impacted most of them because they all talk about becoming transformational leaders. They talk about uh, becoming better at most of the things, which actually in the first days they couldn't do that. These are dreams being nurtured and future leaders being created. Once they leave the program, students are given the tools that help them tackle any obstacles ahead to achieve their dreams. Earlier in my childhood, I have experienced my neighbors who are dying of many diseases. So I want to become a medical doctor so that I'll be providing the medical services to people. Myaka 10 cyangwa se 15 numva nazaba ndi nka avoka nyine ukomeye cyane mu Rwanda. Growing up as a child you are like I want to make money, isn't it? So most of us children that's how we think. I feel like that goal, I can achieve it, and with this opportunity I've got at TLP, I think to, to give me the base or the foundation on which I can use to, uh, to achieve more. This both campus so far equipped me with enough tools required for me to be competent on the market. I want you guys to live here knowing what you want to do. And actually knowing what you want to be. Because the moment you know that, the rest will be defining how to become that person you want to be. I leave this calm determined to make change and try to do things in a different way so that I can help my community. So first of all, I would want to congratulate uh, the students uh, for being the best. Uh, we have been saying this all along. They are the best we have uh, in our country uh, at their grade right now. Uh, and uh, also congratulate them for being part of this program. Uh, of course, uh, to the students, uh, you know that uh, you are aware that you are a second group, uh, meaning that uh, the first group has uh, left very big shoes for you to fill. Uh, but also at the same time, I think the program itself is growing. So meaning that the program will have better things to offer you. Uh, and I just want to wish you the best uh, as you continue with this program. And also want to let you know that uh, the Ministry of Education partners will always be here to partner and uh, to make sure that uh, uh, whatever it is that we can offer uh, to make sure that your program uh, becomes uh, even better, uh, we will do that. Through the program, students are given opportunities to seek out college counseling where they are helped to get global scholarships. In the inaugural cohort, 21 scholars got admitted to the University of Rwanda, eight of them to the Kigali campus. Thirteen are in the University of Rwanda, Huya campus, among which two have MasterCard scholarships. Others are in different local universities. One scholar in Rika, one scholar in Auka, one scholar in Vatel. Eight scholars got admitted to global universities, three scholars in ALU, one in Turkey, and one in Northwestern University in Qatar, one at Borden College, and two in the United States of America at Ivy League universities Harvard and Princeton. Banyiri gahunda ikintu nabanza kubabwira cyambere ni kubashimira. Kuko niba gahunda yaraje bakavuga ngo twite kubana bose tutarondoye igitsina runaka. Bagafata abahungu bagafata nabakobwa. Ni ibintu byiza ro bitugaragariza ko nubundi uburezi kubana bose baburinganisha. Ikindi kindi ku mutima mbere na mbere no gushimira ufite ufite group kuba yashyizo ina opportunity kubana abatuye abanyarwanda barangije A6 ishobora kubafasha kuba baba abayobozi bejo hazaza se ikabafasha no kuba babonenda amahirwe kuba bakomereza enda amashuri yabo hanze hanyuma nyine bagaruka on the behalf of 
the second cohort of ELP. I want to say thank you for the opportunity that they have given us and that will surely give back to the community because we didn't expect this at all. So we are really, really grateful.